four, three, two, one. Um, <laughs> I don't want to lose you now. Sarah right at the other half of me. Then I in my heart. And I did. Oh my God. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the No Chaser podcast. I'm Tim Chantarangsu. I'm Hungry Shucks. <laughs> I'm Nikki Blades. Oh my goodness. It is the final episode of 2020. Uh, thank you, everyone. Ew, that just feels weird. What, what part? Just it being the last episode of 2020 just feels weird. Hey, yeah. man, I'm just, honestly, I'm, I'm happy that 2020 is ending. I know everybody's like, oh, y'all swear everything's gonna just flip and turn better as soon as 2021 happens, but it is. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. I, I really wanted to believe, like, all right, 2020 was going to be that shit year, and then we were going to something, but we're so close to the end, and it doesn't look any better. I don't know what 2021 is going to do. Look, man, as soon as the clock hits midnight, everything is going to just turn better. Everything is going to flip. And then and the... we will turn into pumpkins and start 2021 off. I, I think right before midnight, right? There's somebody who's been trying to fix this shit. But in classic movie fashion, he has to wait until that last second to get it right. And watch the freaking the uh the uh the dome is gonna fucking disappear. <laughs> we gonna see the sun. It's gonna be beautiful. Watch, watch. <laughs> as soon as it hits midnight, all my good shit disappears. Like this was my last good year. My house fucking <laughs> turned back into a pumpkin. All my shoes turned glass. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, <sighs> but look, you can already tell that things are looking up because I'm wearing a fedora. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not wearing a black t-shirt you're not wearing a black t-shirt I'm wearing glasses because I'm legally blind Nikki's audio isn't fucking up this episode woo <laughs> just started, Tim don't put that shit out there yet hold on we just started the episode <laughs> hey but you know what um, fuck it man even if your audio is fucking up man it's it, you know it's been it's been a rough year a lot of ups a lot of downs a lot a lot a lot of downs for everybody but you know you got y'all got to deal with the fucked up audio all right it's just and you know what fuck that nikki's audio is not fucking up zoom's audio is fucking up yeah you know what thank fuck you that. rick the zoom audio ain't fucking up your ears are fucking up everybody who's yeah. out there <laughs> fuck ass ears Punk ass, 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 buster ass ears. Um, Ooh, I, that's, I, that's, you definitely sounded like you took some E40 shit right there. You was ready. Ooh. 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 Ass ears. So I bought this uh, sparkling white grape cider and it's fucking delicious. But mm. um, as I was coming in here, Clay was like, wait, give me some. Even though there's a whole other bottle in there, okay. but it's not cold and I don't want to get ice. And she took all of it. <laughs> It's gone. All of it? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gone. Man. It's such a waste. Guess what? That shit is 80% alcohol. No, I read Surprise. it. I read it three times <laughs> to make sure. It's um, technically hard cider. You've been drinking. <laughs> 2020 is definitely a shit show for Rick. Look at what happened. You drank hey, it 2020. Actually, it's funny that you say that, Nikki Blaze, because I'm drinking hard cider right now. Look at um, that. Oh, we both had cider? Like I didn't. I didn't get the cider. I didn't get the cider memo today. It's okay. But you did get right. the black t-shirt glasses memo that I didn't get. I wow! Look at that. Every time. Um, uh, also, this is a no chaser t-shirt, which we don't have. <laughs> yeah, I'll get y'all some. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, every time I throw on a fedora, I look in the mirror or the selfie camera. I'll be like, you know what? It's not bad. <laughs> It's not bad. It's honestly not bad. It looks but good. I can never bring my, well, thank you, first of all. Uh, but I can never bring myself to actually wear them shits outside of the house. Like, yeah. you just got to commit to the hat. Yeah. Because I feel like anybody who's never seen you before wouldn't be like, you fucking got that hat on for you. You right. just look like a guy who wears those hats. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just, you know, it's like, 
you see fedora guys out there and then it's kind of like oh he looks kind of cool but also it's like ah it's a fedora guy yeah Yeah, it's a personality yeah because you have to wear a a host of other things when wearing a fedora you can't just have a fedora and regular shit off like Like you have the glasses look you have the fedora and the glasses you didn't pick one or the other you needed both but his shoes have to do something Uh, true I'm, you I'm, can't wear like J's and a fedora. Yeah. You gotta wear those stupid ass Chelsea boots. Yeah. <laughs> with the rhinestones. You need the rhinestones. Oh, oh yeah. Then you need a nice belt to go with it. See, it's a whole outfit. It really is. Ah, uh, I'll just wear a beanie. <laughs> you gotta wear one of those jean jackets with the uh with the the, the sheep looking fur. Oh God. right. Oh, actually, I, I have one of those, which I also can't bring myself to wear out. <laughs> You just got to commit, Tim. I got a bunch of, I mean, listen, when I step out of the house and I'm like, I'm going to wear this jacket, I am committed to the look. It's from mm. head to toe. You just got to rock with it and pretty much tell everybody fuck off and just do what you got to do. I have a, it looks like a bath rug, but it's not. It's like a mint green kind of oh, <laughs> robe yeah. thing, but you oh, just got to cool. wear it. Yeah. yeah. This, oh, this cool. one is a look, this one kind of does look like a oh, bath on. robe. Okay, hold on. on. Yeah. <laughs> so you, wear it. House, you would never wear out the house. I'm wearing a white shirt. I would never wear this out of the house. Only because it's like up here. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> looks, like <I'm, laughs> looks like I'm alone. <laughs> oh, Hi. This is back. That does look like a bath rug. <laughs> it does look like a bath. Yeah. But you just have to like own it, right? Like yeah, this is Instagram. Exactly. Bath rug chic. Bam. Mm. Bam. You just have to commit, see? And it's silk on the inside. Oh, shit. Tim is in the background a- of a versus. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's uncle's on stage right now. <laughs> is that an eight ball jacket? This is an eight ball jacket, but it's an MTV eight ball jacket that I got um, in Australia. And at a big cool. store in Australia, and I was like, "Man, this shit would be lit if I ever wear it to like an MTV uh, red carpet event, right?" Yeah. But much like other things in my closet, I have yet to actually wear. I, like, I think I've worn this out like once. Why haven't you worn it on Deliciousness? Ooh. Hey, then you can be the guy who wears the, the MTV merch, and they'll get you all the retro shit. Perhaps. Speaking of deliciousness, did you guys know that Ridiculousness has really hardcore, dedicated, pissed off fans? Yeah. yeah sure, dude. We, we've talked about that. <laughs> oh, talk Tim about is, yeah. Yes, we have. Tim is so upset about that, Rick. He's like, listen, I'm still mm-hmm. mad. You motherfuckers <laughs> is mad. I just want to eat food and talk about it. It's funny because people be like, Tim, you such a dad. You're gonna be repeating stories when you like you such a dad. I'm like, bruh, I've been I've been repeating this too. I did. (laughs) Yeah. I'm gonna put on another jacket. (laughs) Jacket change. (laughs) Wait, I got another jacket too. Okay, change too. All right, here we go. Jacket change. (laughs) I'm just gonna eat on camera. So guys, if you're wondering why. Commit to the lingerie jacket. (laughs) Commit to the lingerie jacket, Nikki (laughs) Blaze. Um yeah, so we were supposed to start this like a long time ago, but then somebody had some issues. So I was going to eat after we filmed this, but it was taking too long and I'm a hungry ass dude. So I'm having my first meal of the day, a very healthy packaged ramen. Oh, Blades. Blades, kill me. You got to pop so you can get big screen. With, with the, Hi. With, with the mother. Everybody. Bird. Yes. <laughs> you know, do you remember that train station show? So they had the little the, the characters lived in the jukebox and they had the little drummer. I'm gonna have to look this up because I've made this reference before. But anywho, this makes me feel very like like I'm a rock star or an expensive prostitute. Train station, they live in the train station, had a drummer. Yes, Cats, and it's the movie. <sighs> No, it's an old school. It's an old school show. Somebody's gonna understand. This is like a. It's an old school show, and there was something. They go and they put a coin in the jukebox, and inside the jukebox, there were little characters like marionettes. It was, it was a, a sh- cartoon or a show. A mm-hmm. No, like a real life, kind of like a real life. It sounds like Fraggle, It sounds like familiar. Fraggle Rock. It's around that era. Anywho, I'll post up the reference somewhere. But yes, it just makes me feel very rock star, very leaving something. Yeah. Eureka's with a bag that's 
Nah. No, but close. It's along that line. <laughs> we'll get to it later. But yes, this is one of those other jackets that I only wear when I'm doing club things. Do you miss the club? Yeah, I just, I miss the bougie shit of sitting on top of a section, holding a bottle of champagne. Like, I just, I just want like that every once in a while. Not all the time. No, nah, you once know what? Every once in a while, because, you know, we, we're over the clubs now. You know what I'm saying? We're yeah. We've done partied a lot in our years. Um, but Yo. every once in a while, a song will come on. And oh. I'm like, man, if if we could be in the club with this song on. And I'm not even, you know, like, you know, you know, we, we've at this point, we are bougie and we need a table and shit. But even like being at the club with the homies at the table yeah. around being obnoxious like not gonna lie I, I do miss that experience a little bit you know? I miss the bars too I miss the I miss the bars it's just like I don't know I think you hit a certain point I know Rick don't drink but it's like a the adult social activities it kind of seems like on a weekend you got a certain amount of things you can do and I've really enjoyed the quarantine pullback from all of it right like doing a lot of more things at home but I think it's because I can't makes me miss it. Like, okay, I'll maybe step yeah. out once or twice next year because I'm going to miss it. But then hopefully it doesn't turn into really <laughs> just being up in the club again. I'm going to be like, you ain't going to take me out of here again. The blades is back. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to see all the little dresses, all the little outfits. I do miss getting, that's the thing. I miss getting dressed up. And do it right somewhere. now during the podcast. Keep on coming in different dresses. I'm just going to be changing outfits. Continue Start, conversation, starting, fellas. starting with that Halloween costume you didn't get to put on, remember? Which one was that? I think it was the Power Ranger or something. You were supposed to change in the middle, but oh, then I the, started talking too good. <laughs> she rocks. The spidey one. The nope. poison one. Do it. No, you no, wore that. You wore Venom. I Oh, I did wear Venom. I don't know then. Or Punisher. Uh, Punisher. One of, one of them. Something. Just go change. <laughs> I, I will. You'll I do will something continue. cool. <laughs> yeah, I can hear you guys. So continue yeah. with the conversations. What do you guys miss? Um, I definitely miss the option of just going somewhere. I don't necessarily miss the club. Um, there was a couple of days last month where I was like telling my girl, I miss the strip club. Yeah, strip club really? Club, we should go back to a strip club. She's never been. <laughs> I was supposed to take her to her first, yeah, but we never got the chance because of COVID. Um, I tell you what, um, I saw a couple of TikToks earlier that definitely made me miss the show. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok will do that. Will it? <laughs> Wait, what? What version of TikTok are y'all on? The look, I, I come to the realization that they are just targeting people. <laughs> If you sign up and you say you are a man, you are going to get certain things, <laughs> bro. I've, I've, I've tried, so I've tested the algorithm. When certain songs come on that I know is going to be, but I'll swipe fast. Mm. I won't like certain things. I won't let things replay just to see if they're changing things. Nope. <laughs> the same shit. So they're targeting us. I, I went through 10 different, I don't want to lose you now. <laughs> okay, Blades. <laughs> I am Blades. Yeah. That was Hi. So fast. What's going on? You guys forgot I used to model. I can do this all day. I can still hear the conversation. Oh, we ain't forgot. She has a rack, just like right off camera. Like right there. I'm like, now this, now this outfit didn't wear it. Have you seen those TikToks? I had an outfit, couldn't wear it, and then switch. Yeah. Next one. Go ahead, Blades. Handle it. For everybody who's listening right now, y'all should be watching on YouTube as well because Blades is doing a whole fashion show for us. Right it now. is a fashion show, guys. It is the it's end of 2020 show. fashion show. But you know All what the- I really miss while wow, Blades yeah. changes? Um, <laughs> theme parks. Oh, uh, yeah. Theme parks. Theme parks and movie theaters. That was my shit. Oh, right? yeah. We Ooh. had a universal pass. We would just be there all the time. And then after the park, we'd go to the movies right there at Universal. That was our shit. And now I got to watch Wonder Woman at home. I know, bro. You know me, man. Movies was all I was doing. It was just yeah. like, that, that was my like going out now. It's like, let's go to the movies and get some dinner. And now it's like, that's gone. Um, and I would wear this. 
to the movies and dinner. <laughs> nice, lovely day out. Just gonna you know what? step out. Isn't it crazy. I think I think I've I've also done the cheetah print uh, leather jacket combo on many occasions. It's I a know vibe. Chia has. <laughs> Chia definitely has. <laughs> That's her shit. Chia Baskins. <laughs> See, yeah. I, I would have worn this on a date, but yeah. didn't get to do it. See, COVID, COVID, look, look, look what you fucking up. Look here. what look. you did, COVID. COVID look is cock blocking the world. It really is. <sighs> this fucking Disneyland. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, because mm. as as LA boys, you know, we had passes, man. We were we were at Disneyland so much. Like yeah. I really enjoyed Disneyland. And uh and it was just, you know, not gonna lie, like I I really miss it. Yeah. <laughs> like, for me watching like, watching you guys go made me want to go to Disneyland. <laughs> so for me, like I, I do enjoy Disneyland as me right but the the real enjoyment came from going with somebody who's never been right or hasn't been as an adult <laughs> or just hasn't been in a really long time watching them enjoy that shit it's cool a lot of people think like oh that's i ain't been since i was eight years old like you still go to disneyland and then you like you like nah, 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 nah. let me show you what where you gotta eat what you gotta ride and they be like oh shit this is lit and mm-hmm. And the, the little, the, the certain rides you can get freaky on. And it's like, it's just a whole new experience. <laughs> yeah, it is. Remember when we had the um, those opportunities to do the VIP shit? Oh, man. man. Once you, that's like what people describe flying first class. Like, I've never flown first <laughs> class, so I don't know y'all world. But I, <laughs> once we did that shit at Disneyland, I hate it going back to the regular. Oh, yeah. No, there's, once you get to a certain point where you've lived a lifestyle, no matter what it is, right? Whether it's ordering something, buying clothes, flying first class, doing things like that. Once you've done it, it's so hard to go back, but it's a very humbling experience. Very humbling. <laughs> Yo, yeah. what's, some, what's some rich, what's some not rich people shit that you thought was rich people shit until you did it? I'm gonna go first. Uh, <laughs> is this TikTok? <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I know, right? So, yo, yo, uh, do it this, stitch this. Uh, <laughs> I um, I used to think valet in my car was the dumbest shit. Like, I thought it was so pointless. I thought it was a waste of money. Like, one time we went to Vegas, we drove, and the homie Andrew, he had just come off his American Idol tour, so I thought he was fucking bougie as shit. And I was going to park my car in the hotel, like, uh, structure. And he was like, you you not you don't want to just like valet and then like <laughs> and then you know we could take our take our bags. I'm like, bro, I'm not about to fucking pay ten dollars to have a motherfucker <laughs> park my car when I could just do it myself. We just we'll just carry our shit. Yeah. And then I think once I actually got some money, I was like, and I couldn't find parking one day at like whether it was the movies or a restaurant or whatever. I was like, all right, fuck, fuck it, I'll valet. And I was like, wait a second, <laughs> it's only five dollars. <laughs> First of all, yeah. it's, it's dumb cheap. Yeah. And I was like. Yeah. Oh, this is this is really convenient, convenient yeah. and really easy. <laughs> and mm-hmm. people look at you like you're really cool. <laughs> <laughs> because they also thought this was rich people shit. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now um, anywhere I go, if there's a fucking valet, I'm valeting my shit. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah, somebody set up a valet in front of my house. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Blade? You got anything? One thing was getting reservations to restaurants. For some reason, like the high-end restaurants, I always just assumed you had to know somebody to know somebody mm-hmm. to get a reservation. Till I was told about Open Table. Somebody <laughs> told me about Open Table because I went to LA and I was visiting one of my friends out there. And she's like, oh, I got us reservations at Catch. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> we're going to Catch. What? Like, thinking like this is some super exclusive whatever thing. And she's like, nah, there was an opening on Open Table. I said, an opening? Like, <laughs> wait, what? Like, you just go on the app and you <laughs> schedule your reservation? Like, you didn't have to call in a favor? She's like, nah, here, look. And I'm just like, <gasps> I thought you had to know somebody the whole time to go to these nice ass restaurants. And then I showed up and I'm like, oh, y'all are liars. <laughs> liars. Yeah. That that would do it right there. Um, for me, I guess, flying to Vegas. 
nah. or shit like Vegas. Because we was king of the road trip. <laughs> and yeah. then it's like, I'm about, to, I'm about to waste money to fly and shit, bro. It's, it's the next state. And he realizes $75 sometimes <laughs> for a 30, 40 minute flight. Oh, fuck. That shit changed our world. <laughs> but those road trips were fun sometimes, though. They were. Definitely were. Going Blades, there. Coming back. Mm. <laughs> ah, Blades, one time. It was so dumb. We were, we had, we, we, it was the four of us, four homies in a car driving to Vegas. And we had these inflatable microphones, these little pink and powder blue microphones in mm-hmm. the car. So I remember we had some fucking in sync bumping in the fucking whip, as the kids say. Okay. And um, singing along with these little inflatable mics, right? We pull, we pull up to this car full of girls and they see us and they start cracking up and they're like singing along with us. And then, um, and then, and then we we were trying to get their numbers while we were driving past each other. We didn't. It didn't happen. No one got it no ass weekend. But <laughs> but the road trip is a, is a fun time. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, road trips are fun. But you know what? Another thing, like social media exposed that you can do and you don't need much money for hmm. traveling internationally. There are so many hacks to traveling internationally and staying at these really nice restaurants and not staying at the restaurant. Yeah, I was like, Damn. Staying at the, you know, <laughs> oh, that's staying, cool. like, I'm hungry. Staying at these really nice hotels. And I swear up until I want to say like this year and everybody really started exposing what was going on or like the Miami trips where you got 16 girls in one house or just friends getting together and renting a house and doing all of that. I was like, oh, so you don't have to be rich. In order to do all this stuff and i learned a lot I like, yeah okay. it's actually crazy how cheap a lot of uh countries could be I'm, i miss traveling so much man there was a point where i feel like i was at the airport like every week you know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. going to, whether it was for a show or whatever and i'm like and i i'm i'm somebody like a lot of people hate the process of like the airports and that shit and being on planes but i i i got to i, I, I miss it you know what i'm saying yeah. like yeah Especially, I I, I'm little. I can get comfy in a fucking coach seat if need be. You know what I'm uh, <laughs> right? Well, not really. I think Rick and I have a different experience with you know coach seats. I've I've turned down like invitations from Tim. Like, yo, I'm gonna go to this country. You wanna come? I'm like, that's a long flight, bro. I'm, I'm straight. <laughs> we that cramped up for that long. Yeah. Uh-huh. One time, uh, coming back from, was it Australia? I think it was Australia. I fucking passed out on the plane. Oh, just shit. From crampness and, like, elevation and probably oh, like- I don't know. But, yes. Yeah, like, <laughs> well, I, I passed out twice on planes. No. Yeah. So the first time I ever went to New York, um, I I don't know what the hell was wrong. Like, that day, I got sick as shit. But, like... It felt like normal, I got a cold. But then when I got on the plane, it just elevated. And I was like overheating and shit. I went to the Ooh. bathroom and I woke up in the bathroom. I was like, that's strange. Shouldn't be waking up. <laughs> and then for the first like day of that New York trip, I was just fucked up. And then the second time coming back from Australia and I was talking to Tim. <laughs> I, I, the last thing I remember saying was like, I think I'm about to pass out, son. No. Oh, no. Here's what you said. Here's what you said. Look, Rick, here's, Rick's never publicly told this story. So, like, I have. I have yeah. somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, so, okay, it was, it was me and then Rick, and then next to Rick was this Asian lady. A tiny one, too. A tiny, <laughs> a little one. tiny Asian lady. So, yeah. Rick was talking to me. And then I kind of, he looked at me and I kind of felt his eyes kind of glaze over a little bit. And this is what you said. You said, oh no. <laughs> yeah, that's the last thing I remember oh, saying. No. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> he said, oh no. He said, oh no. And then passed out on this Asian lady. Tiny lady. <laughs> Lucky for him, she was like a nurse or some shit. So she wasn't freaked out. She was like, oh my God, let's like lay him down, help him, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, oh shit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was scary yeah. for a few seconds. So yeah, then, yeah. then uh, long flights, unless I have, unless we um, are in like business class or some shit, mm. it's not like, going down for me. 
JetBlue is it. JetBlue is nice. Overall experience, yeah. I like JetBlue. I flew there mint coming back from New York. Mm -hmm. No, can't I can't do it. I can't. I'm not <laughs> flying to the East Coast unless I get my feet put out. Bro, put the leg, put the legs out. I hate oh. to New York. I used to like purposely pick the um, flights with layovers <laughs> going to New really. York. Yeah, I it, I don't know what it is like. So flying to Florida. No problem. Something about flying to fucking New York. It always just had me uncomfortable. Man. You know what I learned too? A lot of kids or just people aren't aware of 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 how to fly. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. When I would be vlogging, I always, you know, the night before, I always choose a window seat so I can get a good view and vlog and shit like that. And there was multiple comments where, where people were like, damn, Tim's lucky. How you always get the window seat for your flight for <laughs> when you vlog? I'm like, do y'all not know? Y'all don't know who's your seat? Like, yeah. literally, like a week beforehand, sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Like, what the hell? It was really yeah. yeah. hell in my room. Blaze, what you changing into? Oh. I thought she was oh, going to okay. change. I was like, okay. Go. okay, go change, go change. Um, I got some questions from Patreon since it's the last, it's the last show of the year. Aww. Um, <laughs> you know, who knows how long we'll be Zooming this shit for, but whatever. <laughs> I miss y'all though. I'm not not gonna lie. I miss being there. Same. Okay, to be with y'all. Same. It's just you know, it's just a, it's a better experience, you know. Let's just yeah. do it at Tim's house. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, get get your fucking Rona test and we'll, we'll just do it over here. Oh, I, here I, we go. I, I got my test. <laughs> oh, bet. Did you? Uh, I'll take another one. Oh okay. Oh, I thought you was taking a shot. <laughs> I was like, right. <laughs> Um. Okay, so I asked Patreon. It's the last show of the year. What do y'all want us to talk about or 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 answer any questions? One guy named Horez Ezoim says, "Fuck all that. Where the hoes at?" That's that's my little brother. <laughs> <laughs> that's nuts, bro. <laughs> you, no, wait, no, it's not really though. No, it is for real. Yeah. No, it's not. I, bro, you look at yeah. on Patreon. Yes. <laughs> Hilarious. That's, that's that's the name he's adopted for himself. Hilarious. He just posted that shit on uh uh he bought the sweater too. <laughs> oh blades with the white with the white with the white and the black. Hold on, let me fix this light real quick. Let's get this. <laughs> Can y'all hear my AC? No. Okay. Okay, white I'm and black. Sweating in here. Look at serving. <laughs> serving. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. yes. Serving yin yang okay. vibes. <laughs> The, the, gang the, the symbol, tag. not the duo. <laughs> oh, we're going to shake it like a soul shake. Oh, I wish I could tell that story. <laughs> Can I tell that story? Is it? Will I get in trouble for telling that story? The I one conversation I had with them? Tell it, because I, I don't even remember what you're saying. Oh, um, all right. If, if I would get in trouble, just cut it out. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, so one time, uh, Oh, we got remaining time. Tim was doing a video with the Yin Yang twins or whatever, <clears throat> and we was on set. And then one of them just starts this conversation that nobody was talking about, about how people think him and his brother are retarded. These are <laughs> the words he used. I did not use that word. This was a different time. Right. <laughs> he just said, Everybody think, man, my brother retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Even my mom and daddy thought we was retarded. Just like us. But shit, we ain't retarded. <laughs> that was it. There was no further explanation of why this conversation started. But yeah, that's my memory of the Yin Yang Twins. They, they, they were uh, interesting dudes. Nice guys. Nice guys. But you know, I'm saying, uh, uh, definitely interesting. Yeah, they are just like the way they are on MTV. Yeah. You know what I'm um, really? Yeah. All right. Let's see. Also from Patreon, um, we got. Let's see. Let me get to the questions for all of us first. Jamal music. My outfit says, changed. Oh, oh yes, I noticed. We're, <laughs> we are we're acknowledging this. We're no Wait. now. Notice now. Now this is, this is different from the other white outfit. Yes. Yeah, the other one. This was out. Oh yeah. yeah. I knew that. Rick. Rick knows. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Okay, Jamal Music says, if y'all could talk about the movie Soul. No, I haven't seen it yet. Um, oh, you haven't seen it yet? We have, so fuck you. You're no! wearing a hat. <laughs> That's on the agenda for tonight. Uh, let's see. Caleb, Caleb Kim, what are some cuisines that y'all haven't tried yet that y'all want to eat? That I haven't tried yet? Have not tried, but you would like to try. Also, we can talk about soul without giving anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can. But um, haven't tried. Mine is fugu. What's fugu? That? Yeah, I might what? be pronouncing it wrong, but blowfish. Oh, mm-hmm. yes. I really want to. I really want to try blowfish. You down to take that risk? I am. That's been on my, see, that's one of those things that have been on my list for a very long time. Like high school, I had that on. I said I always wanted to try it in Japan. I have specifics, but I really want to try it. Yeah. Okay. Well, if we go into specific parts of a cuisine, mm-hmm. um, I have yet to try a five Wagyu. Oh. And I want to see what the hype is. <laughs> hey, at eighty-five. <laughs> well, like I told you, know, I know it's a texture thing for you. Mm-hmm. Um, it, I've seen it sliced and cut. It looks a little, it looks a little firmer from what I've seen. So it, it's look, it, it'll definitely, it, it's the same melty in your mouthy meaty vibe. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I feel like what you should do, what someone put me on to one time, is they were like, you should do it. I forget which state it was. It was like, <laughs> it was like uh, uh, Philadelphia style. It was some East Coast state where they'll crisp the crisp the top and bottom a little more, but still Sear. keep, huh? Sear. Yeah, I was sear it a little more. <laughs> so, but then it's still, but it still maintains the just the butteriness of it. Mm. And um, I forgot which state style it was, but it was fire. Um, I just make Toy do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rick, you have your own chef in, in the house. You'd be like, babe, tonight? Wagyu. I get mad A5. IG ads for just buying some A5 Wagyu that you yeah. can you know, get shipped to the house or whatever. So yeah. I don't trust it, though. You think it's, some fa- it's, it's not the real deal? Yeah. Mm. For there me, is... There's a spot in San Francisco, Rick, if you ever come, they're a butcher and they, it's right next, they're actually the supplier for NICU in mm-hmm. San Francisco and the, they have it right there next to the restaurant and you can go into the butcher shop and they carry all the top steak. It's, it's pretty, pretty phenomenal. Dope. Yeah. I, I feel like for me, it's going to sound kind of crazy, but it, it, it's also in Japan, but I got a handful of homies that always talk about this horse sashimi in japan mm. and they say like some people say it tastes kind of funny but some people say it tastes kind of bomb and uh, i just kind of want to go for the experience of it you know what i'm saying because yeah. i like just trying weird shit and i feel like um horses are still wild enough that i don't feel like i'm eating no domesticated pet <laughs> you know what I'm, saying? I, I'm skipping i'm skipping out on the horse one that one makes me um, that one makes me feel a type of way i've heard horses good I've heard it like it's a it has a fragrance and a, a flavor that's just like I don't like the horse, but I don't know if I'd be down. That's um, what somebody said. They was like, as soon as I went in, it smelled bomb, and they didn't realize really what it was until they was looking around and saw pictures of horses and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> cowboy <laughs> cowboy <theme. laughs> what you say? I said cowboy theme. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but to the person that answered the question, yes, we understand that that's those aren't cuisines; those are mm-hmm. pieces from the same <laughs> cuisine. But yeah, collectively, we've all ate a lot of different shit, them more than me. But I think we've all tried the um, types of cuisines we wanted to try, just specific things we have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he doesn't feel cheated out of his question. <laughs> to think. Uh, man, that's enough for that question. Next question. Um, <laughs> Don't be rude about it. We, we got a lot to get like through. We, all th- we do. We got a lot of questions. We got a handful to get through. All right. Okay. Go, Nick. Um, sure. <laughs> <went. laughs> 
now she's gonna change. Jay. <laughs> oh, okay, go change. I'm listening. Joshy J1234 says for everybody, what is your opinion on dating apps? Could someone really find a serious relationship through one? Or is this is this the future of dating? All right. Uh, th- thoughts, sudden quick thoughts. Um we started. <laughs> I've seen people find actual love on a dating app. I think it's possible, but from what I understand, in the near past, most people were just there to hook up. But I believe it's going to become like a I'm really looking for love as situation. You know, uh, I've literally, I know people personally who were on the shit just to have fun and then ended up fucking falling in love, moving in together it becoming a real thing you know what i'm saying oh nikki blaze in another white oh the tiny white uh uh the one that is uh, the leather outfit the, the pvc plastic can't move can't breathe can't sit in yes realize, I put, bag. On, <laughs> realize i put on weight in 2020 holy moly nah. See, we bought this we bought this in the beginning of the year this what happened was nah it looks, it looks great it's crazy healthy. that you got that one on fast. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah, this, you know. Nikki Blades, do you believe in, uh, have you ever tried any dating apps? What do you think about them? I have not tried any dating apps, but I do think that they work. My sister, my sister did, and her and her significant other, like, I really love her boyfriend. They were in there for the same reasons. They were, it wasn't Tinder. It was one of those other apps. They went in there with the intent of getting into a relationship. It's kind of like you don't have to filter through who's there just to, you know, who's just trying to get some, but you use the proper apps for the proper things. And at least you don't have to play the game of, oh, what are you looking for in a relationship? Because you already know what they're looking for. So you don't waste your time. Because you read it on their profile. (laughs) Pretty much. I previously would say, oh, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. I previously would say that (laughs) the people on dating apps, to me, it felt like they have exhausted all their real life options. So they had to turn to an app. But while I do stand by that in the past, like I said, I really think now and in the future, more people who are just tired of finding people on Instagram who just be hoes <laughs> are going to stop fucking with the dating apps. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Like, oh. you know, I got into a relationship before all the dating apps were even a thing. Mm-hmm. But there is like, I, I do like wonder like, man, I wonder what it would have been like if, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, especially when we was out there, like mm-hmm. to just be out there like, okay, who's just trying to hook up tonight? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the fun of that. Cause I have, I also have a home girl who's like, um, she works in the, the flight industry and mm-hmm. she would just land in a city for the night, be bored, want some dick, be like on Tinder, someone come through, what's good and fuck some dude in the city and fly out the next day and just have a good time. <laughs> That's wild, dangerous, but fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think because like I, to the point of not being on Instagram and, you know, exhausting your options. I agree with that, Rick. I think there'd become a, a certain point to where you don't want to play games anymore. It's like, listen, I know I can have, I know I can go out and get, it's not, I think dating apps aren't about, can I actually hook up and mm-hmm. date people in real life? It's really just a process of elimination going, I know exactly what I want. Say I'm looking for somebody that wants a relationship. Sweet. I don't have to worry about just the hook up people because I can yeah. just go right past them but I do believe that if I hit a certain point I don't know I think there are dating apps depending on like where you are in life I don't think me just hopping on tinder is gonna make fucking sense like why would I just get on tinder if everybody's just gonna want to hook up but I feel like there are other types of apps to be like okay look I'm looking for this 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 and this yeah how do how do I find this person I got a homegirl that met her love on plenty of fish dot com oh. you know, there's so many out there all right let's see next question uh <clears throat> nicole muse is asking a lot of questions so we'll pick a couple here oh she has a question <laughs> for each of us and we'll i'll read them all off and then we can answer them at the same time okay um, before you do that before you do that my little yeah. brother where the hoes at was his question uh well it was actually where the ho 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 was at <laughs> his, <laughs> his question was also nikki when are we gonna see some more content? <laughs> are you are you for serious or? This is Rick's little brother. Yeah. Oh, I mean, 
every time I hear a question like that, I feel like it's leaning towards OnlyFans, but uh, right? <laughs> it feels that feels very OnlyFans ish. I, I don't think so. <laughs> but okay. you never know what to do. <laughs> but the way Tim read it makes me go, is this outfit not enough for you? Yeah. <laughs> like, you guys want more? Uh, 2021, definitely, we're going to have more content along the lines of what I'm actually doing. So, yes, I did take a break. I felt uncreative, didn't feel like posting up outfits, can't go nowhere, can't do nothing, and didn't feel like setting up shop. But yes, 2021, more stuff, more of me eating, more of me eating. <laughs> <laughs> they love it. They love to see it. All right. Questions for everybody from Nicole Muse. Nicole Muse asked for Rick, what changed in your 2020 that alters how you view 2021? Nicole Muse asked for Nikki, what did the time of solo quarantine teach you and how will that impact your 2021? For Tim, what's, what most excites slash scares you about being a father? Okay, Rick, go. Um, what Good changed, questions. What changed in 2020 was... Um, it felt like, well, not coronavirus didn't feel like this, just 2020 in my personal life felt I like an attack on my bank account. I was like, oh shit, how am I about to make money now? And it kind of brought out the work harderness in me. And it also just um, surprisingly helped our business. I, I can't really explain how or why, but we've been having the best months since we've started since the pandemic started. So um, yeah, that has made me more optimistic for 2021 and for new business ventures. Y'all be on the lookout for that because we got some dope shit coming. But um, yeah, it, it kind of uh, sparked the hustle, I guess you could say. Ooh. Nikki Blaze, you remember your question? Nope, no, sure don't. Your you question keep the was, questions, for Nikki, what did the time of solo quarantine teach you and how will it impact your 2021? It taught me that I am the only one responsible for myself and my happiness, that you mm. cannot blame other people for how you feel, that you have to take responsibility for your own actions and the way you react. Solo quarantine taught me that one, I actually don't need a lot of people, that so many individuals that were in my life were there for their reasons. It kind of like sorted people out into their categories on where they belong. I understood why a lot of people acted the way they acted. It taught me how I probably could have been a better friend or how to check up on people, how to empathize more and also becoming fully financially independent and responsible for my future because when everything started shutting down, it was just me. I had to figure out how I was gonna, you know, not only the bills, but like I had to plan, like I got five years planned out because of the pandemic and doing it by myself. So the idea of, oh, I got to start a family or, oh, I got a date or, oh, I got to do all these other things. It really just kind of like got wiped out. So whoever comes into my life now is there because I want them there. And I'm only, taking people in that I can actually reciprocate. So if you giving me a lot of love and a lot of, you know, friendship or whatever it may be, like if I can't give it back to you, I need to own up to that as well. Solo, I had a lot of Beautiful. things to do guys. <laughs> I feel like you. it sounds like 2020, 2020 really kind of, you know, put into perspective what the priorities are, what mm -hmm. really matters since all the bullshit is kind of just gone. <laughs> yeah, it was it was just me and onyx like the reality of it is is like when the riots were happening we had the fires we had job jobs being lost i felt like 2020 hit really hard and if you survived like mm -hmm. rick said you became a hustler something sparked you knew how to get out of this but then also emotionally this shit has taken a toll on a lot of people so i'm just thankful to have made it out made it out of 2020 in one piece so it was a hey, blessing in disguise. Clap it up for you guys listening at home. Everybody, we made it through this year. It was a struggle Woo! for everybody, Woo! you know what I'm saying? But we are here, we are alive, we are breathing. You obviously have the internet, so life isn't that bad. Um, we did it, guys, all right? Um, and my question was, what most excites slash scares you about being a father? Speaking of priorities, you know what I'm saying? My life is definitely about to uh, change in a lot of ways. It, literally in like two months. Um, what scares what scares me is um, 
you kind of just want to make sure that you're doing shit right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you kind of realize that like, wow, everything I potentially do is molding this tiny person. And it's like, you know, I don't want to be that dude that's like, oh shit, the baby. I, 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 left, I, left, I left it in the backyard or some shit, you know? Look, I'm a forgetful dude. Yeah, you you know have potential like? to be that. Yeah. So I feel like for me, you know, I it, it's going to make me like just focus a lot more, not only on being a more responsible person, but also focus back on, like y'all said, kind of like, you know, you kind of feel like you got to grind again. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not just doing this for me anymore. Uh, and Chia, it's like now I have a whole ass other person I have to support and raise. Who completely um, needs you. <laughs> say what? Who completely needs you. Yeah. yeah. Needs, yes. Who is completely dependent. Like if I leave for a day, we'll probably die. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Yes. yes. Well, if both of you leave for the day. Yeah. She exists. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's true. Yeah. Um, and then what's most exciting is kind of the same thing, but in a different way. Like the fact that everything I'm doing is going to be shaping a new person is kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like the fact that I can be like, <laughs> you know what? I think they should know about this type of music and I could play this music all the time. And they're probably going to be like, Hey, this is my favorite kind of music. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> crazy. Yeah. You know? yeah. Um, that I'm going to be molding like a tiny version of me is, is wild. Um, uh, we don't need that. <laughs> No, they're gonna be we have Chia involved. Like we have Chia, we, we have Chia to help balance that out. Well, that's what's great too is that like Chia in a lot of ways is like opposite of me, so she balances me out. So we're gonna have this little person that has all the dopeness of me, but also <laughs> the boringness of Chia. To <laughs> <me>. <laughs> What if it you just have takes the whackness of both of y'all? Oh, no. <laughs> Rick, he has to see Soul now. He has to see soul. You have to see soul now. Like, I will. I will. will. And that's what's lit too is that, like, I've been in the theaters as a grown man watching Pixar movies. Now I have an excuse to watch all that. (laughs) (laughs) Speaking of soul (laughs) for that person, um, real quick, I definitely prejudged, but I didn't say anything online because I was like, I could be wrong, but I was pissed <laughs> at the first clips of Soul because I was like, mm. we get a black cartoon <laughs> and two minutes into the movie, he has to be blue. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and he can stay what... black. He just got to be <laughs> dead and blue. Dead. Wow. <laughs> Um, uh, it's it's good though. It's good. I've, I've, that's all I've been seeing on 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 Twitter. Did you watch Wonder Woman yet? I haven't watched Wonder Woman. Uh, I did. Blade, you watched it? Okay. I did. We're not gonna talk about it too much since you yep. haven't watched it yet. But I will say this: um, Twitter reaction <laughs> is very, you know, um, it's it's up and down. A lot mm-hmm. more downs than ups. <laughs> um, that makes me want to watch movies more because I feel like, nah, that's just Twitter being Twitter. Yeah. Uh, but I t- I'll say this, going going into it, I, I was like, I was kind of like, ah, uh, okay. I-, <laughs> I-, I see what y'all saying. <laughs> yeah, a-, a lot of the a lot of the comments were they-, they made sense. I got a question. What is something new that you got into in 2020 because of the pandemic that you probably wouldn't have gotten into if life was regular? Any new hobbies? Did you guys pick up any? anything new. I got into crypto and trading during the pandemic. Like that's one thing that I ended up picking up and started mm-hmm. doing was a lot with crypto. I was writing YouTube all the time. I'm like, did you guys get yeah. any Bitcoin yet? Um, <laughs> um, I don't think I got into anything new. I mean, I did start trading a little bit, but I was doing that maybe a good six months before the pandemic. I threw a little more money into it <laughs> after because I started mm-hmm. thinking about shit, but um, yeah, I don't know if I got any new hobbies. No. Yeah. You stay in the kitchen, though. I see you and Sway. You were oh, in front of the camera a lot. You were I in the kitchen a lot more. I made frosting the other day. <laughs> and it's Ooh, really? <laughs> yeah. It, I, that'll teach you to eat uh, less things when you find out what goes into certain things. I'm going to just tell you. Powdered sugar... 
and butter. <laughs> I feel like it, a, lot, really. a lot of good shit is <laughs> yeah. just mainly butter. Yeah. Bro, oh, no. yeah. Like, you whip the butter, and you see the butter start looking like frosting. And you're like, huh. This, yeah, this is, the, this is frosting. Like, hey, just add some sugar. And if you want vanilla, you add some vanilla extract. That's it. <laughs> you know, vanilla flavoring is actually like beaver butthole secretions or some shit like that. Uh, used to be, I do believe, some shit like that. I'm sorry, but what? Not anymore. <laughs> So if you want like 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 from na- from nature vanilla like so they can yeah. either use like the vanilla you know the actual like vanilla pods, beans, the beans, yeah. yeah but also a lot of like of the more I guess the cheaper vanilla the artificial is, yeah is from the secretions of the anus of beavers <laughs> I thought it was like the oils from the tail or some shit yeah, like yeah, yeah. that no 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 it's it's like I that was... oils bro. <laughs> I thought that was for like candy. Doesn't candy or like red 40, isn't that some weird? Let me, let me Google this shit right now. I don't know. People be making up all type of shit. Terrine is from uh, uh, bull testicles. And, okay, okay, check this out. Uh, a chemical compound used in vanilla flavoring and scents comes from the anal glands of beavers. Castorium is a substance that is produced by a beaver's castor sac which is found between the pelvis and the base of the tail. Okay. See, so, I know that's where castor oil comes from. Interesting. But, mm, well, now you know. <laughs> all right, all right. We got a couple more questions before we uh, we can close this thing out here. Um, uh, where the hoes at? Uh, <laughs> from the front to back, now is your pillow net? Sorry. <laughs> oh, you know, no, that's all the questions. Cool. Um, <laughs> I do, I do want to shout out, hold on a second. Let me shout out all the, all these fucking. One last outfit change. Make it a good one. Make it a good one. Let me see. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of pressure. (laughs) (laughs) What is, what is good though? What is good? It's it's your interpretation, but we're judging. No. (laughs) Okay. I'm going to shout out a bunch of names while you, while you change into another outfit or two or three or whatever you want to do. Uh, all right so shout out to um everybody in the secret menu tier and the extra value tier we got ryan babila candice paolo mark flores jesus martinez paul francisco victor espiritu alva musics trevor dieppe philip savoy chance connor marcus mateo 2k no way jamario Francis Lau, Sheldon Jackson, Tessie King, Raziel Abenze, Junior Lay, Luis Seijo, and Nelson Vargas. I appreciate you guys for supporting the Patreon. Um, and um, Rick, what you got any New Year's resolutions? Okay. I do, business, actually. <laughs> business <laughs> geisha. <laughs> She's Asian, but she means business. There you go. A <laughs> business geisha. That's funny. Um, my <laughs> resolution, but you guys, uh, the people, you won't get to see this because I can't do this here because then I'd have nothing to do. But <laughs> stating or voicing my opinions on other people's lives and actions less. Mm. Why give a fuck? Why uh-huh. give a fuck? So I'll be doing that in my personal life. But here, I'm still going to talk all the shit because... Good. Entertainment. That's my job. I got to do that. Yes. But yeah, that's my <laughs> resolution. <laughs> Blades, New Year's resolution? Uh, consistency. Mm-hmm. My resolution is just to be more consistent in the things that I want to do. There you go. Simple. There Real go. easy. <laughs> the rest of the shit don't work if I'm not consistent. You know what? Mine's kind of a, a combination of both of you guys. It's actually, uh, I, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm ready to kind of uh, talk less on social media like just tweet less share less opinions and just kind of really get to work and and deliver products you know what i'm saying like not like show less of of you know share less and do more that's what i'm trying to do this year you feel me talk less smile more talk less smile more that's right <laughs> mm-hmm. oh i am starting the new job in the new year oh that's shit. official it is official. I will nice. be doing radio in San Francisco 
we are back. Let's go. Clap it up for Nikki Blaze. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank um, you. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for listening this whole year and this whole time we've been doing this podcast. Thank you for listening during the pandemic. And even though we had to switch to Zoom and and uh, all types of craziness is happening this year. Um, you know, I, I think 2021 is, is going to be good. I don't want to jinx it. Like, you know, we all went into 2020 <laughs> feeling good, but I feel like it's it's going to be good. So I think uh, I'm, I'm grateful to everyone who's been listening. I'm grateful to my co-hosts, Ricky Shucks, Nikki Blades. Thank you to everyone who's been listening and supporting. We appreciate you. We love you. This has been the No Chaser Podcast. Happy New Year. I'm Tim Chantarangsu. I'm Ricky Shucks. I'm Nikki Blades. Bye. Bye. Bye.